Thanks for checking this video out. Your mountaintop news video is coming up in just a minute. Did you know that it's going to be watched thousands of times, shared a bunch of times, likes, comments, you name it, it's going to be there. Why is it your ad here? Call me. On Monday, Kentucky's number of positive COVID-19 cases surpassed 500,000 as numbers continue to increase with the discovery of the new Delta variant of COVID-19. I spoke with Pot County Public Health Director Tammy Riley to discuss the number of new cases within the county and how those numbers could affect our local hospitals. Currently we have 462 active cases and 114 uh, deceased and we have 6,632 total cases that have been reported to us to date. Those are official documented um, COVID-19 cases. On Monday, we had 50 COVID-19 hospitalizations. We compare that to just a couple of weeks ago where we stayed in the mid to lower 20s as far as number hospitalized, and that remained for weeks and weeks. Uh, so just since uh, last week, we've jumped from 25, 26 hospitalizations to 50 on Monday, 66 yesterday, and this morning our two hospitals in Pike County um, are holding 70 COVID-19 patients, you know, um, many of those requiring you know, ICU beds. We have um, a certain number you know, requiring ventilators, and so all those numbers are, are starting to climb. But Tammy says that it's not the capacity or ability to acquire more beds for hospitals and actually more about staffing and keeping our frontline health care workers safe from contracting COVID-19. And, you know, when a community's having the type of spread that we're having, it also impacts, you know, health care and the ability to ramp up and have that type of specialized care and, um, and to keep their own, uh, you know, staff safe and, and healthy and have the ability to manage that many patients when those numbers are expanding so, so quickly. As more samples are sent off for testing to determine whether someone was infected by the Delta variant of COVID-19, Tammy adds that scientists are seeing a higher number of Delta cases from those tests. Yes, I did receive a report from the state epidemiologists. You know, and the state is uh, doing, uh, and across the state, there's, there is a low uh, or a small number or percentage of uh, samples that are being sequenced, uh, but we're at about 5% sampling right now, and we're seeing about a 68% prevalence of Delta in that 5% sampling. Of the recent 70 hospitalizations in Pike County, 21 of the 70 are Pike County residents. Out of the 21 individuals, only three were vaccinated. And even just the numbers locally showing that there are benefits to the vaccination. It is preventing severe disease, it is preventing hospitalizations, and, and ultimately it's preventing death. Additionally, Tammy says that they have received an increase in phone calls of people requesting vaccination. To help provide the community with more opportunities to receive a vaccine, the Pike County Health Department has increased their hours and have plans of mobile vaccine efforts. So you can walk into the Pike County Health Department clinic Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until noon and then 1 until about 3.30 in the afternoon. You can just walk in. We have Moderna in stock. We'll come to you, we'll do mobile pop-up clinics and, and offer it uh, to you as well, you know, at your place of employment, um, your neighborhood, uh, your apartment complex, your, your civic organization, your church. You know, we, we are more than willing to come out and provide that service. For more information on how you can receive a COVID-19 vaccine, contact the Pike County Health Department by calling 606-437-437. 5500. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Jeremy Justice.